What's up everybody? It's Andrew Love here again and I just wanted to say hello. This week we're going to talk about B. It's the last of the B series and it's B A Messiah. That's right. So what is a Messiah? Well, let's go to the source. Reverend Sun Myung Moon, who we call True Father, says what kind of person is the coming Messiah? He stands as an embodiment of faith, hope, and love for the individual and for the entire family, tribe, society, nation, world, and cosmos. That's a lot, right? Pretty big job description. But where do we fit into the picture? So the Messiah comes and then what? A lot of people think, well then the magic wand happens and we're all saved. No, no, okay? A tribal Messiah, that's what we've inherited. In the, his last breath, this is what uh, Reverend Moon, True Father, asked of us is to become tribal messiah. So what is a tribal messiah? Well, he is the master of true love. To be a master of true love was the hope of Jesus, was the hope of Adam and Eve, was the hope of God. Thus, everybody has to become a master of true love and march on. If that happens, everything will be finished. Telling you to become a tribal messiah means telling you to become a tribal ancestor, which means that you are starting a tradition of acting great, like the greatness of True Father, right? Like the greatness of True Parents. So we are acting in the same manner, starting a tradition of greatness. Because realistically, who's going to save this world? Is it going to be uh, government officials? Is it going to be the president? The president will never save the world because that's not even in their job description. And I don't think they would ever try to do something like that. So who's going to do it? Is it going to be celebrities? Is it going to be Brangelina? No, that's not in their job description. They're just supposed to look really good and act like different people. They are not meant to save the world. Is it going to be a nonprofit? No, that's not their job. They just focus on a little niche. And if you've ever worked for a nonprofit, you see there's a lot of infighting. So they're not going to save the world. So who's it going to be? It's going to be one of us. Because let me ask you another question. Who can take a licking and keep on loving other than a unificationist? Seriously. Who can speak to any religion with total reverence and love other than a unificationist. We have so much at our disposal in terms of our abilities to help save this world and make it a better place. But we have to tap into that. We have to have a confidence and we have to have an understanding that that is what we're supposed to be. That is how we're supposed to act. And when you start acting like that, you start to come alive. Trust me, I'm just tapping into this myself. And the more that you start doing that, you start functioning like an original person, like the way that you were built. And you realize that all these cogs in your personality are just based off of fear and all these negative emotions, but you can get those out of the way and you can fulfill your purpose, which is to help people feel God's love. But we have to be able to feel it first, okay? So the traditions that you set in your daily life, do you have integrity? Do you say what you're gonna do? Do you reach your goals? Do you even set goals as an individual? Do you set goals as a family? These are all vastly important if you wanna accomplish anything, okay? So please set goals, please achieve those goals and do great things in your life because the world is waiting for me, for you, for us to get it together so that this world can be a better place. Okay, so God bless you. I'll talk to you later. Adios.